Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to Godzilla Mo. And today, I got another great video for you, boys. All right, now look, bro. In today's video, I'm gonna I'm gonna be showing you, boys, how you can play Madden 24 early, five to six days early than what the release date is. You know what I'm saying? So, now before we get into it, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you guys follow me on Kit. Trying to get to 75 followers, right, boys? And look, bro, I'm gonna have a lot of Madden content coming out for you, boys, especially Madden 24 content coming out for you boys when the game come out all right now one way you boys can um get the game really early so i'm gonna show you first thing go to your xbox store or the ps playstation store right go to your, your store and go press y or triangle and type in madden 24 so madden 24 but make sure you go over here to where it says choose edition not the pre-order where it says pre-order right here go to choose edition right and when you click that you want to go to choose edition not so separate all right right here right here. click this one right boom then you want to go over to where it says deluxe edition right go here and then click the right bumper all the way to it says right here i just want to say pre-order and it's going to say august 14th you get it but basically you get the game on august 14th now the regular regular release date for everybody else if you don't get this edition which is a standard edition which comes out august 18th that's like crazy that's like four to five days you know what i'm saying four days away from what everybody else gets, you're gonna be have a head start ahead of everybody. You know what I'm saying? So that's a huge W. Plus, you get perks, you get a lot of stuff. You get 4,600 points. You get a lot of stuff, bro. You know what I'm saying? So this is gonna be a huge W if you get this one. All right, and this you can get the game four days earlier than everybody else. All right, boys. Now another way, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys another way, right? Go to your back to your store. Go back here. Now if you type in EA Play, EA, and you see right there, EA Play. If you get that for five dollars a month you essentially what madden does every year they sends out a, a 10 hour uh 10 hour trial of every madden now i don't know if they did it last year i can't remember but i know previous years they did it you know what i'm saying so you get 10 hour trial of the new madden so you can play every mode all between franchise play now all that good stuff for 10 hours alone that so you do the close that thing but you get 10 hours to play for y'all for to play it now if i know for i don't know about for playstation but for xbox if you get the right here you see it's for a dollar xbox game pass ultimate you ea play is included with it so you get it for a dollar right now at this present time of this recording but it, it says 16.99 a month yeah it's you get it 16.99 you get all game pass ultimate but right now it's a dollar so that's a huge w you they might do the game pass i mean the trial thingy i'm not 100 sure but you, you never know you can get it and you get to play the game early you know what i'm saying so that's another way one more way you boys can play madden 24 early is if you do the new zealand method so if you go all the way over here and or go to your settings on your playstation right go to now i forgot it don't work on playstation i i think i heard that it doesn't work on playstation so xbox users if you have an xbox go here go to where it says systems and then go to language and location and if you click here and put and put your thing to new zealand right new zealand i'm not gonna do it now because the game not about to come out yet but if you do it here and if you they get that deluxe edition one you could get you could get the game at 4 a.m on august 14th so you get it hours before everybody else so if you got the deluxe edition they get the game at four or at eight o'clock a.m or, or eight o'clock p.m august 14th you get it august 14th 4 a.m you get it hours before everybody else so that's a huge w you can get ultimate team a lot of stuff done before everybody else your team gonna be a w you know what i'm saying so make sure you guys like comment subscribe make sure you boys follow me on kitchen and get the 75 followers all right boys and i hope this video helps you guys i hope you guys i hope this does like help y'all you know what i'm saying now, i'm definitely gonna be doing some of these methods i already got the deluxe edition so you guys are going to see a lot of videos coming out for you boys all right um and uh yeah i, I hope hopefully they do do the uh 10 hour trial thing because i do want to see how i'm about to play this shit you know what i'm saying so basically i will see you guys in the next video peace excuse me please get the heck out the way excuse me please get the heck out the way excuse me please get the heck out the way godzilla mode godzilla mode godzilla too cold too quick we lit best channel we sick took time for us to shine and drop down still time at the time giving you mine place for days this is a craze we love it hot as the oven still buzzing crazy crossed over still hooping still juking crazy step back bang that track gotta pause let's talk to you later we'll be right back. yo what Zillow, and today I got another anger video for you guys, alright? 
now look bro in today's video i will be showing you guys um how to use the dunk meter to get 23 some people just don't know how to do it don't know how to use it so i'm gonna show you guys what to do and a way you can dribble and still use the dunk meter all right now look, before we get into it though, make sure you guys like comment and subscribe make sure you guys follow me on kate trying to get to 75 followers all right boys 75 followers that'd be a huge w all right boys um so uh the way you do that is you just go to controller settings right here right and when you go to it'll say right here post stick function i have mine on dribble moves right because i don't um what's it called i don't really use a duck meter i just like to dribble with my with my player so but if you want to use the duck meter and dribble use shots i mean not shots but use default default is the one you use if you want to use the duck meter so when you put it on default let's go ahead and go to uh 2ku right here freestyle uh let's go to the grizzlies right here right so when you get a team or get a team right here you put on uh default so essentially you dribble right and you just gotta click the oh shoot my for my fault you have to run and click the right analog stick up and down so watch right here you guys are going to see and it's going to activate now i don't use the dunk meter that much i just really learned how to use it like maybe a month or two ago but i still don't use it that much bro it's not in my opinion it's not uh something you should be trying to use that much in 2k you know what i'm saying but am i but you can definitely do it if you want to hey if you get uh slash and takeover like with john morant or with Bron, you definitely can use um the duck meter now the only downfall i say is that you can you can only do certain moves like you can't do like um like speed boost moves out of it like with this with the dribble moves on, on this bro like see i can't even do the, the uh the snatch back move i can't i can only do but so much you know what i'm saying like i can still do this and then dunk and get to the basket but like moves that i usually do i can't do so if you're playing my team and trying to use this duck meter bro i don't know if that's the right thing to do you know what i'm saying and that's the right move but you definitely can you know what i'm saying bro i can't even act so activate bro but uh yeah you definitely can use i don't care you definitely can use the uh the the duck meter and 2k if you want to but in my opinion it's not something you do just the right analog stick up in my fault just would go to the basket right analog stick up and down really fast so right here and then time it right you got to hold it and time it and then you'll be able to get the dunk meter right but if you use it like this on but i do dribble moves i don't use a dunk meter all right so i'm able to do um i can do something like so i can do the move like this so watch it like this boom and then i don't i could do so many moves without the dunk, without the dunk meter right so i can speed boost to the basket because john Morant get he dunks on everybody anyways him brian Giannis, and everything so i don't really worry about using the dunk meter especially when they get takeover they go they're just going to get every foul call caught for them so like that's what i'm saying like, i already just use the uh, regular just dri dribble with john Morant, you know what i'm saying so like boom mash i mean not mash but uh crabby patty and then just a green ball you know what i'm saying like so many things you can do that you can't do if, if your thing is on default now if you want to though you can you could definitely use it just remember what i told you how to use it and everything and uh that's pretty much it make sure you guys like comment and subscribe i will definitely see you guys in the next video make sure you guys follow me on kick though so i get the 75 followers and uh peace boys now look in today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys the ultimate defensive settings and best defensive settings in nba 2k23 it's been like two months since i posted one of these but this one is going to be like basically probably the last one of all 2k23 um but this one is going to go through play now and, and my team all right so you guys want to see both of them make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and make sure you guys follow me on kick trying to get to 75 followers boys and if you guys want to see these defensive settings in motion basically if you want to see me use these settings make sure you guys follow me on kick link is in the description and let's get right into the video so first thing you guys need to do is go to your uh, first thing you always need to do is go to your coach settings right make sure adaptive coaching engine is off this for my team and play now all right make sure that's off um next thing let's go to play now i'm gonna show you guys the settings you guys need to run best preset settings how to adjust and things of that nature so let's go to the best defensive team in the game matter of fact i'm gonna show you these settings that i run without the best team in the game so if i use the bulls right the bulls only got basically two defenders really right i'm gonna show you guys what to do right wait for it to load let's go ahead and pause i can't pause it hold on let me wait for it so i can pause it boom right as soon as it come on as soon as it again load up play now online wherever you're playing right this is and this is for playing now these are the best play now settings go to defensive settings you want to go here right and then the first thing the best preset settings for play now is moderate moderate go under go under catch hedge catch hedge stay attached front 
go over and you see this right here manual manual um no help no help is very key all right over over because some people do run actual plays so run go over and no threes now let me explain to you what these settings are right um now the reason you run modern and play now because th there's really nobody in play now that can shoot that can make screen threes besides stephen curry and i'm gonna show you guys how to stop that but leave these settings leave moderate moderate because nobody can hit screen threes like, as soon as you get a screen shoot a three nobody can really make those threes consistently all right so moderate moderate is the best settings right now off ball settings you can really you can play with this one for real. I might run tight, might run moderate. Depends on how my opponent play. Most times I just run leave them and moderate, but moderate is the one I wanted you guys to leave it on. Gun go under is the reason you do this. It's because they're gonna be trying to get to the basket or get into like a little mid-range pop type shot, right? So say you're playing against the classic Lakers with Kobe, right? He get a screen from Shaq. He's not gonna he's gonna looking either go to the basket, shoot a screen three, or hit the mid-range. Most times gonna be going to the basket or the mid-range three uh mid-range shot, right? So go under is what you guys want, and you need to have catch hedge on because if you're if you if you're running a defender on kobe right and he get hit with shaq screen he's not going to be able to recover till like two seconds later by that time kobe might score so you need to run catch head so you guys can x switch it really quick then a switch back and then get a stop so um yeah these are the settings which you, this is what you guys want all right catch edge uh stay attached is so they won't switch on the screens unless you manually switch it. if you don't manually switch they shouldn't be switching by themselves you know what i'm saying so stay attached is what you want the reason you run post front and so when they get the screen right and you don't a switch it or sometimes you might forget to a switch it right and they throw the ball and then you might switch a point guard onto Shaq right so if somebody throw a regular pass to uh Shaq with Curry on them Curry will stay in front of Shaq to get this to get the uh interception type pass right you don't want it behind because if it is behind he's not going to get that Shaq going to get the ball he went dunk all on Curry foul and one you know what I'm saying so front is what you want rest of this is like not it's just you know boom 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 just really just leave it like that right but screen help drive help i don't think this is on current gen but if it is um you need to have this on no help you don't want help coming from the corners unless you're doing that all right if you if you're not sending moving the player from the corner and then a switch you know wherever you're doing do not have the cpu doing it you want to do it yourself that's just like very very key all right make sure you guys have this on no help now the next thing you guys need to do is do individual adjustments you need to find who is your best defender on your team no matter if you can shoot can't shoot get that person so my best defender obviously is um lonzo ball right so lonzo ball is my best defender what i'm going to do is for the beginning of the game if i see i'm gonna see how my opponent plays right so if he plays and his jason tatum is elite what i'm going to do i'm gonna throw lonzo ball because lonzo ball is six six doesn't have interior but he got good perimeter defense so i'm going to run lonzo ball on jason tatum and then what i'm going to do is his lonzo ball has clamps intercepting all that good stuff i'm gonna run tight defense on him all right because he's not going to get blown by as if i if i were to run uh, uh was yeah zach levine tight he can't guard tatum tatum will have 100 points for the third quarter so you want to have lines of ball on him run tight and then i sometimes i might run tight but you don't have to you can run just tight matter all right now then let's just want to go through the rest of the team so who, what would most people run what type of lineup they will run uh since robert williams cannot shoot which you guys usually should do it with a guy that can't shoot none like no three ball what you guys need to do usually do is just run leave them moderate all right moderate leave them that's what you guys want to run all right then and then so what you guys want to do after that you just want to see who their least like basically their least score is so if Marcus Smart doesn't score the ball a lot, right? So the more he's more of like you know can't score, but really good defense, but can't score. Throw your your worst defender on him. So my worst defender will be Zach Levine. I will throw him on Marcus Smart. Just run moderate, moderate, and then put your second best defender on their second best score, which would be Demar Derozan. Boom, and then throw your big on his big, and then if he's running two big, you just run two bigs, bro. Just simple as that. He's running two bigs. Go ahead and take out Caruso. Throw in my boy Patrick Williams. And that's what you guys want, right? Now, um, next thing you guys can do is go to coaching side. Just turn help defense all the way down to either 10 or 0. So 10 or 0. Simple as that. Do not run nothing more, nothing less than that. It needs to be 10 or 0, all right? And if you guys want to see how these settings or things in nature, make sure you guys follow me on kick because you will be able to see how I play and how these settings work because it, bro, I, I go on major win streaks with these with these settings. These settings works, and it just basically it forces your opponent to make reads and just makes force them to 
find different ways to score it makes it really hard for him to score so you see right here right sees downs the ball on my boy tatum see robert williams can't shoot so that's why you don't want to be basically don't want him to be guarded too closely and you see that was perfect defense right so just watch it right here watch it right here so the reason i'm using a center i hate the replay is so slow i ain't gonna lie to y'all boys but you see right here right let me just go back let me go all the way back Let's see if I can go all the way back. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you see, this is what I said. Throw your best defender on their best score. So I see Jason Tatum with the ball, right? You see Lions with the ball. He has clamps, all that. He's basically, he's ba he's bagging him. He's bagging, uh, uh, what's his name? Tatum, right? Lions with the ball is bagging him. Now, the reason I'm running, um... I'm right here with Vucevic because I know Lonzo Ball doesn't have good interior. So I can help out with my center and then move this guy over just in case he do try to shoot a mid-range to help out until Vucevic recovers. But you I see right there, since Robert Williams can't shoot, that's a W for you, right? Now, you don't want to hurry up and press and close out on Robert Williams because he cannot shoot. So this was a, kind of a little bit of a mistake for me. But I did close out just a little bit and then I clicked off, right? You see now, the reason people don't shoot this shot with JB or they don't shoot this shot with no Nobody unless it's like Clay Thompson or Stephen Curry. So that's good defense right there. Forging him to make a read right here. Now, this is kind of a mama state. Uh, because I did, I think I clicked on yeah, I clicked on Zach Levine a little bit. Now you guys see right there. But the reason why you do run moderate because uh you get a lot more contested in play now than you do in my team. You see that they said this is contested, even though this looks like it's a foul, but this they say this is contested. This is a hard shot to make, and you see they miss, and that's just our um you know our stop so those are the best settings you guys need to be running in nba 2k23 the best preset and just the best settings all right now for my team the settings you guys need to be running especially with all these in game cars in the game things of nature um i'm gonna show you guys what you guys need to be running all right so it's right for the load i haven't been on this account in a while make sure you guys check out my no money spent videos uh i've been on that account so i'm probably about to sell all these pairs not gonna lie to y'all boys but i ain't gonna buy it to sell for real for real but um yeah the best settings you guys need to be running is first first of all go to your team and then go to the right bumper twice go to coaching and go to coach game plan all right this is how you save your my team settings boom and then you guys want to run tight uh tight moderate go over go over catch edge catch edge go over front basically it's basically it's a little bit like play now but it's a little bit different i'm gonna tell you guys why all right the reason now i will say tight tight but you can't say tight moderate if you want to but i'm gonna run tight tight but you run and go over on ball screen because of how good of a shooter there's in 2k uh my team right now so since everybody has limited range and easy jump shots go over is what you guys seem to be running but make sure you do have catch hedge on all right catch hedge needs to be on because you're going to be x switching a lot more in my team than you do on play now so you got to remember that and then tight tight all right and then what you guys want to do next now if they do have a end game card this is the setting you guys want to run if it's say it's uh kd because most people got the free kd end game card not me but most people do got it right what you need to be running on an end game is mother tight simple as that nothing more nothing less or if or if not then it needs to at least be tight tight all right it needs to be tight tight simple as that all right tight tight is what you guys need to be running on every end game card all right every center every point guard every shooting guard don't matter who what position they are because i know some people like okay but big man end game cards can't dribble like the point guards do i bro i dropped 39 with paulo back carol he's a 6 11 small four i bro i went crazy with him so it's it's like anybody can do anything with any with any player any end game my fault any end game all right so tight tight is what you want to run but if you are playing against like a ben simmons card it's simple you individually adjust you run moderate on ball and you just run you run um either moderate off ball but I'm, I, most times i run tight moderate tight moderate is what you want to run on ben simmons uh on a dark matter one moderate tight but if it is if you do have i wouldn't say if you even got a good three ball most times that shot is going to get contested because his jump shot is kind of slow so you guys are good these are the settings you guys want to run in nba 2k23 my team play now these are the settings you guys need to be running go over go over no threes and like i said if you guys want to see this in real time just follow me on kick and uh yeah at godzilla mode yt and things of nature so make sure you guys like comment subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video peace what i'm going to be showing you guys are the best controller settings you boys need to be running i'm not going to go like go crazy on the video i'm just going to show you guys a quick video and show you guys what controller settings you need to be running in 2k23 right now all right now look, before we get into it make sure you guys follow me on kick 
trying to get to 75 followers right boys 75 followers is what we're trying to get at um hopefully we can get there boys make sure you guys follow though you know we're trying to get that 75 following uh followers all right boys now first thing you always want to do so your settings can save so you won't have to do them over and over again is go to your features tab right here go to controller settings and then which what, what you're going to do is is these are the settings you want to run so vibration on shot meter off shot timing shots only shot time and release late now late is the default one but you can run early or you can run very late um some i know ty tidebo just moved to very late in my opinion i feel like late is the best one to use even if you gotta hold the button a little bit longer this is the best one uh perfect release flame uh bucket comment i feel like this is the best shot meter if you do use a shot meter comment high is the best one to use um awesome uh, circle red free throw timing user timing don't use real player percentage dribble moves uh yes dribble moves is what i use because i like to dribble a lot but if you want to do the, the meter dunks use shots or default but you have to remember when you try to do like that dunk and you try to like do certain dribble moves they will do like hop step three balls and things of nature so you got to be ready for that also but dribble moves in my opinion is the best one to use we got absolute absolute manual double team manual on enable on um pro state pass type normal icon pass and default now the reason i'm just going with these is because these are not really that important but i guess i can tell you guys a little bit of what what these mean so double team reaction is basically when you hold the left bumper you want them to like basically send a double team and that way you can click off and let's just let them double team you can basically if they try to throw the ball to the open person you can easily get the steal on manual but if you have it on auto they won't basically double team they're double team when they want to so you don't want that having on manual help defense uh button function double team you don't want to call for help because if you do call for help then they're going to help from the corner and basically you give up easy three balls in the corner so double team is the best one to use um pro stick defense absolute shader indicator have this on i don't know why would you you know why why would you want to have this on off but on is the one you want to have it on who to guard same thing on now defense assist strength some people might say okay um why you have it on five not zero or not why not 10 why not have it at 50 well the preset one is 50 and the reason i don't have it no more than five or ten is because when you're trying to defend like on ball wherever it is like on ball for like a few seconds and then maybe click off ball what it's going to do is when you have it too this this thing too high your player going to be sliding so basically what sliding is is like when you're holding the right analog stick and you're trying to move back back and forth to guard them especially on my team or my career you're you're going to try to go right and the cpu is going to make you go left you know what i'm saying so you don't want that happening you want it strictly for you to go wherever you want to go you know what i'm saying and uh yeah that's basically what defense is strength assist strength i have it at five or ten either which one box out assist strength i don't really know you know this i just left it at 50. i might sometimes i might move it to 100. I don't know why bro because i don't even know what this even does Re realistically if you want to get more rebounds just click on like click on the the closest person by the rim and then hit the rebound that's literally all you got to do bro um and then this right here pass target openness you need to make sure you have this on make sure it's at an 80. now remember when you move this slide it's going to move the other ones down 80 in my opinion is the best one to do best one and it works for me so you know what i'm saying i'm on like a, a 30 plus game winning streak i have not lost in a while but you know that can easily change there's a lot of great players out here boys um and that's why i'm trying to give you guys these settings because these settings are going to help you become a better 2k player adaptive coaching engine make sure this is on off do not have this on defense offense or offensive defense off is the best one to use make sure this is on manual because you don't want the cpu put in put in and taking out mb and hard and put in um i don't know george's niang and mantra's hero you don't want that especially in the in the comp game because you know you need to have mb in the game especially in a close game you know what i'm saying uh don't worry about this offensive play vision have this on all plays all right this is another thing have this on all plays all right so basically what that does is when you run like a freelance or a play for a, uh, a player what it's going to do is when they like about to set the screen or run that play it's going to show you on the court like the little blue lines wherever it is who's setting the screen who's going around what and things of nature so uh play vision display you can have it on light uh i might i think i have it on full that's what i have it on play calling messages you can have this on user plays only but i'm just gonna have it on show all um 
Office of pay calling. Make sure this is on manual. All right, all of these three on manual because you don't want the CPU doing anything for you. You need to make sure you're doing it and not the CPU. Team communication. Have this on office and defense. This is. I mean, you can have this on off. It doesn't really matter. But in my opinion, um, office and defense is what you guys want because uh, basically, if they're if they're going around the screen like a, a go under screen and then and the the CPU, you want the CPU to do it. Basically, that player is going to say, uh, I'm going under, and that lets you know that you can move the other player to go over so you can, like, x squid your things of that nature. So, it's just something that's very small in 2K, but in my opinion, it helps me a little bit. You know, not too much, but it does but it does help me. So, settings, uh, I just run Hall of Fame five minutes. Um, yeah, this is pretty much it. This is basically what I run. These, these settings are nothing too crazy, nothing in here you need to really be worried about. But, uh, yeah, these are the best controller settings, in my opinion. And NBA 2K23. Now, this might just be the best controller settings for 2K24. You know what I'm saying? Because I've seen, like my, I seen the video. Uh, Kai said he did play 2K24. He said it was like the same game like it is this year. So hopefully they do like fix the mashing. That's something I don't. Um, that's something I don't. Uh, um, you know what I'm saying? Don't want it to be the same. But yeah, controller settings is just the best ones in the game. Coach said the same thing, best settings and my regular settings. Don't worry about user settings. This is just like you cheating. You don't want to cheat in the game. So uh yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe on my YouTube channel, uh at Godzilla Mode. 